A business case study is a write-up about a business problem or a given market condition. Usually you will find factual data, comparison charts or table columns, a statistical data or else uh, news articles or news reports, sometimes assumptions and uh, some of the writers even would have included their assumptions and as well as the problems and as well as the reasons for the problems. In some of the case studies you may not find the reasons behind that and you have to find it out okay and for example what is an analysis an analysis is a proper investigation of the given data and as well as you have to read it out and solve the problems with suggestions suggestions means recommendations with supportive arguments you cannot simply say whatever that comes to your mind when you give an idea you should have a validation about that particular idea when you recommend something you should also talk about the advantages and disadvantages and how the recommendation is going to work for that particular problem okay for example before getting into the problems and identification let us discuss about a situation if you are a HR manager in a factory and there is a problematic worker who is actually creating a lot of problem within his team what will you do will you fire him immediately it is not possible because the other employees may feel offended because of that or else that guy may have close connections with labor unions it may create a lot of problems in future and as well as the company's image may go down because of such a move so what you can do you have alternatives what are those alternatives you can invite him for a talk or else you can put him through a counseling session, a professional counseling session. And as well as you can also put him under a capable leadership in sense, a manager who is emotionally intelligent and who is smart enough to handle such a problematic guy. So when you approach a case study, you need certain skills. And those skills are, first of all, reading skills. Because if you don't know English properly, almost all the case studies are written in English. You should have good English knowledge. You should read it. And while reading, you have to comprehend it properly. So comprehending skill is also necessary. And when you properly understand a problem, thereafter, you have to analyze it. So analyzing skills is very important. And thereafter, researching skills. You have to find out comparatively you have to find out what is the problem and how it happens what are the times where the problem happens and thereafter you should have troubleshooting skills and with that troubleshooting skills you have to also derive with problem solving skills when you have a lot of ideas to solve a problem you have creative thinking in sense you should have creative skills to find out a lot of ideas for one given problem and all the creative ideas are not going to work for the problem so what you have to do you have to have logical thinking skills you have to narrow down you have to filter all the ideas that you have with you and now let us just think about what happened last year we had a major disruption the disruption is covid after the lockdown, the pandemic lockdown, what happened? Almost all the companies shut down their operations. But certain companies, they actually had a smart way of moving ahead. What they did, you just think, if let, let, let us take uh, an example of Dauber. Dauber is an FMCG company. We all know that. What they did after the pandemic, when the lockdown is imposed, they started increasing their production of hand sanitizers followed all the COVID protocols in their company because if they don't follow that protocol what will happen again if someone gets infected inside the company they have to again shut down the company in since the factory so whoever comes to work in the production unit they had they have to follow the COVID protocol and they also did one of the smart moves they tied up with a lot of online delivery companies so that they could sell their products. And one other example is Raymond. 
we all know Raymond is a clothing company. It's a very good brand. It's a very renowned brand. They also have a division, FMCG division, toiletry division, wherein they produce um, soaps, also perfumes. So what they did, they actually proposed the government for a clearance so that they can produce hand sanitizers. So that was their move. And if you take the giant ITC, the FMCG company, they started increasing their production particularly in hand sanitizers. They had a company in Himachal Pradesh. They were producing perfumes, but they stopped. In sense, they slowed down the uh, production of uh, perfumes, wherein they increased the production of hand sanitizers. If you take the example of Mahindra and Mahindra, which is an automobile giant, it's actually they are into a very different domain. But again, when the pandemic was there and all the doctors were telling about uh, the kind of problems the patients would have when they uh, how when they were infected by COVID-19, like breathing trouble and all, Mahindra and Mahindra started researching about developing a ventilator that can be used in ICUs. And they finished, they came up with a design of producing ventilators. So they manufactured ventilators and as well as their team also came up with a face shield which could be used by the frontline workers for many companies.